and welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie if you are new here and on my channel I post a lot about books. We talk a lot about personal lifestyle stuff and personal growth. So I took the month of October completely off from uploading videos. I had a lot of stuff going on in terms of we adopted a kitten and just he had some like health issues and so overall it just caused some issues um and so now we're finally to a place where we're he's getting healthy everybody's like we're settling in and over the last month as i have been not filming videos i have kind of come to a realization that i don't want this channel to be 90 percent book related like it has been so yes all of my vlogs are still going to contain book content and 90% of my posts will probably involve book content because that is something that I really love. But I feel like when I only talk about books, it makes me not want to read books as much. So I want this to be more of a way for me to get back to being me. And what that means is I just feel like in the last couple of years, just like you graduate from high school, you graduate from college, you start your work life, and it's really easy to kind of lose yourself in the day to day. And I just feel like I've lost a lot of my hobbies and I've lost a lot of my interests. And I just feel like I've kind of become a shell of the person that I used to be and the person that I want to be. So I'm going to use this outlet as a way for me to kind of get my life not back together, but get myself into a place where I am content and I don't feel like I'm missing things and I just have, I don't know, more enjoyment out of life. So that is kind of the direction that this channel is going to go in. I, at this point, am planning on still doing weekly vlogs, but instead of weekly reading vlogs, they're just going to be weekly vlogs. I'm going to talk about whatever I want to talk about. We're going to talk about books. We're going to do all the things. Um, one thing I'm really trying to get into is some personal development stuff again. I've really fallen off the wagon with that, which is interesting because that's always been something that's really held strong in my life. And so it's weird to like have a couple of months where I haven't really cared. But I just am ready to get to a place where I'm feel more like myself. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to quickly talk about the books that I am reading right now. I started this one this morning. It's called The Blue Zones of Happiness by Dan Buettner. Um, And if you watched the docuseries Down to Earth with Zac Efron and Darren Olean, they went and talked to, I don't know if it was this guy, but they went and talked to somebody who studies the blue zones. And basically there's like, I think there's seven blue zones across the world. And they're just people, like each of these zones are like sections of like a country where there'd be like a city or like this like region or whatever, where people live longer, they're healthier, they're happier. And I am really intrigued by it. And I was intrigued by it when I watched the docuseries uh, years ago, like two years ago, a year ago, something like that. But um, I don't know. I bought this book shortly after I watched the docuseries and I haven't picked it up. So I started this this morning and I am let's see, I'm 54 pages of the way through this. This book is 200 and it's 251 pages. So I've got about just under 200 pages left of this. And so far I'm really liking it. I just feel like it is a more like straightforward way to go about personal development because sometimes personal development can be hard to read and I realize that but there was this quiz here that separated out your happiness based off of pleasure purpose and pride and then you like voted and it gave you a result and my results were really bad <laughs> in pleasure I was in the fair category in purpose, I was in the poor category. And in pride, I was in the fair category. And there was poor, fair, good, and excellent. So I wasn't even good on any of these, which just like, it was kind of a letdown, 
honestly. And it, I've, I've been coming to the realization recently where I, I know that I just need to get my life back together because I just, so things feel like they're missing. I just feel like I am missing. And I know that that potentially sounds crazy to some, some people. Um, I can't complain about my life. I, I realize that. I have no reason to complain. I am very happy with my relationship. I love where I live. I have pets that I adore. You know, I, I'm very fortunate and I understand that. But I just feel like there's something that's missing and I just think that it's time for me to get back to being me. So this is going to be a running theme on my channel. I think moving forward is just getting back to being me, getting used to myself, spending time with myself. And I'm going to just document the things that I'm doing and trying along the way. So Right now, something that I'm trying to do is keep up with like housework because I feel like that's something that just takes up so much time and it's exhausting. Little intermission to introduce Benji to you all. Say hi. He's such a sweet boy. We love him. Um, anyways, I don't remember exactly what I was talking about other than the fact that the, uh, train went by but um so yeah that's the personal development book that I'm currently reading and then I am also reading The Poppy War by RF Kuang right now and I am really enjoying it I know that people say that this book is really like intense and hard to read and all sorts of stuff and I'm getting there. I've separated it out into like 50 page increments and I'm on page 100. So I'm, I'm loving it so far. I'm excited to keep reading and hopefully it doesn't stress me out too much. Um, but yeah, that's my fiction book right now. And then I'm kind of struggling with figuring out like what audiobook to listen to. I've been listening to The Bazaar of Bad Dreams by Stephen King, which is a short story collection. But today is Halloween and I'm kind of over Halloween. And I don't really want to listen to horror or spooky or anything like that anymore. So part of me, I'm like 30% of the way through it, but, and it's good. Like, don't get me wrong. It's really good. But a part of me just doesn't feel like reading that right now. Same with, I also have The Hobbit on my Kindle right now. And I just, I don't. I think what I'm going to do, because I want to finish one more book this this month so that I can fill out my reading journal and have it like look pretty. I'll show you. So this was the first like section of this month and then this is the second section and I finished two. Yeah. Yeah, I finished, there's two more books here that I haven't filled in yet that I finished. So this would leave just one spot and I would like to just fill up all 12 spots for the month. So I might pick up, I have, I'm gonna look and find like a novella KU book or like a super short KU book. And then I'm gonna read that cause I wanna finish another book this month but I just need something that's short cause I don't have the time to read a full length novel today. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, I decided on a novella to read, and it's actually a novella series, so maybe I will be able to like this series and get into some fast-paced reads. Um, let me see. It's called Holding a Witch by Lauren Conley. Okay, I don't know what this book is about, but it's like 70 pages, so I'll read through it really quick, and then once I read it, I will update you, um... Yeah, that's it. I have more to say, more to say regarding like my personal growth stuff that I'm doing right now, but I'm gonna talk about that in a little while when I have a little bit more time. Um, but in the meantime, I am going to read some of this book and then uh, that's it. So I'll talk to you guys in a while. <laughs>
it is Tuesday and I just wanted to chat to have a little bit of some honest time here also it's freezing so I'm putting my blanket on but um I thought about scrapping this video because part of the reason why I haven't uploaded a video in hi Bungie Part of the reason why I haven't uploaded a video in a month is because we've had a lot of health issues regarding our cats in the last month, since really since we got Benji. Um, so I'm just going to be transparent tell you what's going on just so that I can quit feeling like I need to stop a video every time something happens. So we adopted Benji on the 24th of September. And we knew when we got him that he was sickly. Um, we were like, that's fine. We'll get him taken care of. So took us, took him home and he didn't eat for four days. The whole four days we were like frantically trying to get him into a vet. Finally got him into the vet and he had to take antibiotics and he had to take probiotics and we had to like force feed him food, which was just exhausting. And it was just a lot and then finally he gets better um also during that time we have to like change our clothes wash our hands every single time we go and talk to him so for the first two weeks that we had him he was completely secluded in a different room and we didn't really get like good bonding time with him initially after like a week and a half we got the okay to let him out and like start introducing him to me so and it was good Things were really good. Obviously, we had some stressful times with like the transition of introducing them and whatever. And, but that's just normal with getting cats. So I expected that. And then like a week later, I noticed that I had ringworm. And the only new thing in our environment was that we brought Benji in. And I was like, okay, well, I'm just gonna treat mine. He didn't have any lesions or anything, which in hindsight, I should have taken him in when I noticed him on me, but I didn't um, because he didn't have any like marks. So I was like, okay, he's fine. I'm just going to treat myself and then we will go from there. So I've been treating myself. It's been now it's been like three weeks and mine are almost gone. Like I'm 90% back to normal. Um, but Thursday of last week, Miso also ended up with ringworm so she has two like lesions in her ear so at that point i'm like okay they both have it clearly i didn't know if benji still had it because he didn't he wasn't showing any signs so that's why i hadn't taken him in but at this point clearly he has it she has it so it's time to take him in so take him into the vet on thursday and yes they have ring ringworm so then we have to do like the whole process of ringworm treatment which is going to take five weeks and this is on top of me treating myself for ringworm. And then Saturday, Ryan got ringworm. So now our whole family has it, which is just fantastic. I mean, I guess it's fine that we all have it because we all have it. So it's not like we can really pass it to each other because we each have it. But it was just a lot. And then Sunday night, Nisto and Benji were playing and he like reached up and bit her face. And I didn't think anything of it. Ryan noticed it when it happened, but I just was like, yeah, they're fine, they're cats, they play. Then yesterday, yesterday was Monday, um, Miso started like squinting her eye really bad. We're like, okay, what's going on here? So we're like, okay, we're gonna give it a few days. And then of course I look it up and when you do WebMD for people or cats, it's always terrifying. You always get the worst case scenario answers. And so I freaked myself out. So I made the vet appointment for today. So today we'll be taking Miso back into the vet to check on her eye. Hopefully everything is okay. But it's just been one thing after another, after another, after another, after another. And it's just been, it's been a lot. And it's been exhausting, literally since we got him. And I love him to death and I would not take him back or like trade having him for anything. But it's really uh, emotionally exhausting when like we brought him into our home he got her sick she doesn't understand it's not his fault he can't help it he didn't know and it's just like 
you have these thoughts that are just really like negative towards like myself in terms of like this realistically was my fault I could have taken him in earlier I could have prevented this and I just I don't know it's been a lot so yeah that's why I haven't posted at all in October but just wanted to share that and that also has something to do with like what I said yesterday um wanting to kind of get my shit together and get back into a, like a positive place is I just feel like I've had so many negative things happening which is not normal in my life that I just feel like it's it's time for me to get my shit together basically I'm, I'm sick of feeling like this so with that being said I'm gonna change gears now reading wise I finished another book yesterday which was my goal for October was to finish 12 books total and I did I finished Holding a Witch by Lauren Connolly I gave it three and a half stars um I liked it it was 75 pages so it was super fast um and I actually really enjoyed the characters it followed our main character Cordelia and it also followed our other main character Denton and it was like a dual perspective so it went back and forth and basically Cordelia is a traveling witch so she could travel between the realms and she got stuck in the realm that she traveled to for a couple of years um it was technically one year in like earth time but it was three years in the world that she was in this time and eventually she was able to escape um and it's about her like recounting that while also like finally showing her emotions towards Denton and him showing her his emotions towards her and it's like a love story basically but it was it was cute um I gave it three and a half stars it wasn't anything special but I did enjoy it and then I probably will continue on with the series I think that there's two more novellas with it so they're all like short so I'll probably read those and then I also already picked up and finished my first book for November. And that was The Deal of a Lifetime by Frederick Bachman. And that was also really good. It was also a novella. I listened to the audiobook and it was like 45 minutes. So it was super, super short, super quick. Um, but that one, basically the premise is, is one life worth more than another. And that's all I'm going to say. I think that you should pick it up. It's so fast and easy that it's it's worth it to just pick it up and get the story. But I really liked it. So I gave that three and a half stars as well. Just because I feel like sometimes novellas don't have enough substance to be able to give them more than that. Um, but I'm happy with my three and a half star rating. So I, I'm going to need to fill. I put in the title over here. But I'm going to actually have to fill in my reading journal for that. And then I didn't really pick up any of the poppy war yesterday because we were meal prepping and I was stressed out about the cat. I barely slept last night because I was just so stressed out. Um, so yeah, I haven't gotten any of that done. And I also didn't wake up early enough to read my personal development book today because like I said, I didn't get very much sleep last night. And so I just let myself sleep in as much as I could. Um, but yeah, so I did finish two books last night and this morning and I'm pretty happy with that I think I've read now like 91 books for the year which is exciting and yeah this has been a 10 minute update and I don't know how that happened so I'm gonna let you guys go for now and I will talk to you guys in a bit hello so I am updating my reading journal and so I just figured I would have you join me uh, I'm doing it because I'm super anxious right now because just like going to the vet and everything just was super stressful for me. I don't know. I just like the not knowing stresses me out really bad. So uh, she's fine. I know she's fine. And I mean, by the end of this video, she's going to be fine. I realize that. But I have to be doing something with my hands because I'm just like way too nervous. And I just know that if I just sit here, the time is going to just drag on. So going to update my bullet journal, my reading journal right now. I am going through, I have this spread, these two spreads that are just my physical TBR, but they're not up to date anymore. Like I've, I've bought books since then and I don't really like the way that it's set up. 
So to fix that, we're doing boxes and this is going to be my new physical TBR. So I'm going to do this and then I'll update you in a while. Benji's purring, if you can hear it. He's just very snuggly right now. Um, but I wanted to give a quick update before I start reading about the vet today. Um, so Miso doesn't do well at the vet, and so she couldn't actually get like a full exam because she wouldn't let the vet get near her. So they were able to like get the machine to like run it over her eyes and they think that is a scratch which is kind of what I expected <sighs> so basically now we have a week's worth of like a double eye drop to do three times a day for a week it's on top of ringworm medicine so yeah it's gonna be a great week we just need some snuggles especially after such a hard week but I am going to read some of the Poppy War. Hopefully I can get like 50 pages in or so. Um, I'm currently on page 100, so getting another 50 pages would be really good. And I just am really enjoying this book. It's so immersive, which is really good for me right now, especially where I'm like trying to like disassociate from real life for a little bit. That's, I mean, that's kind of the fun of reading. And I'm just excited to get back into this world just because I didn't really read yesterday. So, yeah, I'm I'm excited uh, to get reading and I'll update you if I have anything to say about it. I don't want to spoil anything, so I might not update for a while, but I will update you if I have any thoughts along the way. Good morning! It is Wednesday and I... I'm feeling a lot better today. I just like mentally feel so much better. Um, Miso takes her eye drops so well, which is super, just, it just is so good. She's hanging out right here with me. I can't really show you much because I can't show you my screens, but uh, yeah, I'm just, I feel a lot better. I started listening to a new book and I started another new book. So I just wanted to quickly hop on and chat about that. Um, so I'm starting a buddy read with my friend and we're reading The Perfect Marriage and I started the first chapter and I'm afraid I'm gonna hate it because I hate the cheating trope and that's literally the whole point of this book, but I'm gonna push through. And then I also started the audiobook for A Song of Achilles and I'm excited to get that read as well. Oh. Cats, man, they're so weird. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna listen to that audiobook and just like do my thing. Um, today is the last day to get pumpkin spice at Starbucks, I think. I believe, because the Christmas flavors come out tomorrow. So I'm assuming that they're gonna like, they probably will still have some stock, but they're gonna like discontinue it. So I am going to go to Starbucks today to get a pumpkin spice latte because I've only had a couple this year. So I'm gonna do it. I read another 25 pages of The Poppy War last night and I'm loving it. I just, I had so much going on last night with just like thoughts that I just, I couldn't focus on it. And that's the type of book that you really have to like pay attention to. So I wasn't really able to read much of that, but that's okay. I'm feeling good. Things are going good. I'm going to work for a few hours and then I'm going to go get some pumpkin spice. And then I'm going to read a little bit today and I'm just, I'm feeling I just feel like there's like a weight lifted off my shoulders. So I'm excited and I will talk to you guys probably when I get pumpkin spice. Hello, it is way later. Um, and I did indeed get Starbucks and it was delicious, totally worth it. Um, but I just wanted to hop on 
and talk about my reading, not my reading, my life uh, bullet journal. Let me set my camera up here. I'm sorry about the lighting. Also, I just am too lazy to set up. Excuse me. Too lazy to set up my camera. So if the lighting is awful, I'm sorry. But I wanted to talk about my bullet journal because I'm getting back into bullet journaling. Um, I haven't really been bullet journaling, but I really want to get into like planning a little bit better and like documenting a little bit better. So I started this. Um, I have been watching plant-based brides bullet journal videos and I just really enjoy them a lot. So... <laughs> Uh, I'm listening to the Song of Achilles right now, and I'm just very inspired by, like, the Greek mythology and everything, so I decided to do this as my spread, and it's, like, Greek pillars. Um, copied a picture, like, by visual, I guess. And then I'm doing my habit tracker, and then I'm trying to do this, like, rolling week process. So we'll see how this goes. I've never done anything like this before, and so I'm a little nervous, but I think it'll be good. And then I'm going to do like a quote page right here. But I am super excited to be back into bullet journaling, so I just i am going to update this a little bit more. I'm going to update this a little bit more, and I'm going to listen to more of Song of Achilles. And then once I'm done with that, I'm probably going to read some of The Perfect Marriage just to catch up to where my friend is at and then after that if it's still a decent time I'm going to read some of the poppy war it's 9 11 right now and I'm hoping to be in bed by like 10 15 so I've got like an hour so yeah that's my plan and I will update you probably in the morning um hopefully I'll have some reading done the rest of this week is pretty chill um work-wise and just like in general I don't really have anything else going on I think that I think that Miso's eye is, look at the camera. Yeah, her eye is looking better. It's this one. Um, it's still pretty, it's still a little squinty. It's not perfect, of course, but it definitely looks better. They're playing and it's so cute. I'm obsessed. Anyways, um, yeah, so I'm going to listen to some more of my book and update my reading journal and then I'm going to get some reading done and I will talk to you guys in the morning. Hopefully I can get some good sleep and we'll have a productive day tomorrow. Good morning. It is Thursday. That's crazy. This week is just flying by. Um. Anyways, I wanted to give a quick update. Let me set you up here. Okay, wanted to give a quick update on life, I guess. Um, so, first of all, I read another chapter of The Perfect Marriage last night. So, I finished the first two chapters and I hate it. I absolutely hate it. I do not like cheating tropes. And that's literally the whole premise of the book. And I, I literally don't know if I'm going to be able to read it. I have, like... 25 more pages until I get to my first like milestone for my buddy read and I literally told my friend I was like I might not read this I I will push through to get to the first milestone but if at that point it isn't any better I might put it down I read Reckless Girls last month and I didn't film it because it was when I was doing sorry if you can hear the heater it was when I was taking a break I read Reckless Girls and that book also has cheating trope in it and literally when it happened I had to put the book down for like three days because it just made me like sick to my stomach. I just, I I don't know, I just can't handle it. It just makes me like, like so ridiculously grossed out. Anyways, so that is how that's going. I haven't fully decided if I'm going to read more of that. I don't know. And then I have been reading more of The Song of Achilles, and that book is so good. I'm loving it. I'm like 32% of the way through or something like that, and I really, it's so cute. I love it. 
And then I haven't read any more of the Poppy War because I'm just kind of taking it slow. I mean, I want to get through it, of course, but I just, I just am enjoying it so much that I don't want to rush through it. So yeah, I've been reading it really slow. So I didn't, I didn't even read any of it yesterday. And then um, I haven't also haven't read any of the Blue Zones of Happiness. I just haven't gone through it. But I did put together a workout plan. So I did it for November and for December just to finish out the year. So basically I want to work out 15 times in November and then 22 times in December. And those are like my goals. And I have it kind of set up here. Like the first, because I haven't worked out like in a while. Previously in the year, I was working out like consistently and we were really healthy and really like on it and then we fell off. And now I don't want to like force myself back into like doing like five to seven days a week because I just feel like that would be exhausting. So we're going to start with like three days a week and then the second week we're going to do four days and then after that we'll get back up to like five days a week. Um, probably at least that's kind of the plan but um basically I just want to get back into it last December is when we started it and I loved it when we were doing it it's just life got busy and we fell off and I don't want that to be an excuse anymore so we're gonna get back into working out and I have been filling out my bullet journal which is just really I don't know it's really satisfying to read or to see um and it's nice to have oh that just hit me in the face it's nice to have a place to put my to-dos because I haven't even really had like a planner or anything recently and I just kind of deal with it I have like like one day I just wrote a to-do list in here because I didn't have a spread sp set up but I just needed a to-do list so having this is really nice Good morning. It is Friday. Don't mind the fact that it's dark. Also don't mind the fact that I'm still in my pajamas, but it's snowing outside and this is Benji's first snow. So I'm trying to figure out like a good way to show you without really giving away anything, <laughs> but it's snowing and we are happy. So yeah, and the kids are, both the cats are hanging out with me. Um, and I figure if we're already here, we might as well talk about books. So, the Poppy War is getting Benji. Come here, Bubba. The Poppy War is getting so good. I'm really enjoying it. Um, I know that from what I've heard, after like part one, it's no longer at the school. I'm assuming it's gonna be like war related. So, I have like 45. No, probably like 50 some odd pages yeah it's about like 55 pages until i will be at the part two and i'm a little nervous because i'm really enjoying the school aspect i just feel like this is the most entertaining school story i've read in a long time i just feel like the like the history teachers and all of the teachers really are written in a way where you actually learn like, as if you were being taught versus, like, info dumping, which I think is really interesting. So I've been loving this section of this book, and I'm a little nervous to see what's going to come when they go to war. So I will keep you guys updated. I'm hoping to get some reading done today. I do have a dentist appointment today, so I'm getting off early. So I might have some time to read when I get home. I also will probably be able to listen to more of the Song of Achilles because I like to put in my headphones when I'm at the dentist. So yeah, that's kind of the plan. And we're going to just enjoy this snowy weather and we will talk to you guys in a while. Hi there. Sorry if you can hear the heater. I'm not turning it off. I'm freezing. But I just got home from the dentist. Uh, no cavities. So I am very happy. And I also just got a flu shot. So very productive time off work but I have probably like an hour until Ryan gets home and I really just want to sit here and bullet journal so I'm gonna sit here and watch bullet journal journaling videos and bullet journal and I'm just gonna let you hang out with me so
put him back and I ran. <laughs> but my book of the month is here. And I haven't peeked yet, but I did open it. So, ooh! First of all, before we get to the book, I love book of the month uh, book bookmarks. I laminate them. And then I literally use them for everything. So like this is a book of the month one that's laminated. That's in my current read. <sighs> I'm out of breath. If you were a book, you'd be a classic. That's cute. I like it. Okay, anyways, the book that I got is White Horse by Erica T. Worth. And I'm so excited to read this. I will admit, I partially got this because the main character is Native American and my boyfriend's Native American. So I just think that that's cool. I like the representation. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. I think it's going to be good. And I am very excited to read this. It's also way shorter than I thought it was going to be. How many pages is it? Oh, damn. 305. So it's that's an easy read. Super short. So probably going to get to this soon because I'm actually really excited to pick this up. Okay, I'm going to get back into my planning now. <laughs> It's Monday. I didn't finish reading anything. Um, I don't remember if I told you that I put down The Perfect Marriage. I decided not to read it. I just couldn't couldn't do it. But it's Monday, so I am closing out the vlog. Sorry I didn't finish any books. This is just rambly. I don't even know how this vlog is going to turn out, but I just wanted to hop on here, close out the video, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.